like to uh, underscore how important it is to fully implement the resolution 2253 uh, to combat ISIL, Al-Qaeda, and uh, uh, associated groups such as Jihad al-Nusra. Strategic reports of the Secretary General to implement this resolution are meant to shape an objective understanding of the terrorist threat and the assessment of the contribution of member states in combating this global threat. Unfortunately, the current report of the Secretary General does not meet this goal. Furthermore, the document is based on one-sided data and does not give the true, a true picture. For example, in paragraph 4 of the report, it stated that the uh, military defeats of ISIL are directly linked to some uh, international coalition forces. Uh, the, the impression you get is that, that the report specifically highlights the role of the coalition led by the United States, whereas the efforts of other states that are often more effective are intentionally ignored. This kind of philosophy is in essence wrong, since it does not contribute to shaping a global anti-terrorist coalition. Uh, and to, and uh, President of Russia Putin called on for the establishment of such a coalition at the 70th uh, session of the General Assembly. Now, it's important to note that uh, a significant uh, damage to the capacity of ISIL was uh, uh, conducted by the Russian Air Forces. We think it's also unacceptable to say nothing of the efforts of the Syrian Armed Forces, who selflessly are on the front lines in the fight against a terrorist threat. In fact, it's uh, difficult to understand that nothing is said in the report about the role of uh, the Russian Air Force in the important expulsion of terrorists from Palmyra and the restoring, with the help of Russian Armed Forces and experts, of peaceful conditions there, including demining in this historic citadel. We'd also like to ask the authors of the report why the, they did not reflect in the, in the report data we provided on the results of the Russian Air Force in Syria, including lists of eliminated terrorist leaders, which were specifically requested uh, from us by the monitoring group of the uh, anti-terrorist sanctions committees. The question that begs to be asked is what was the purpose of asking for this information? In this connection, we think that it's very important to convey to the members of the UN uh, an objective picture of the Russian anti-terrorist operation in Syria. We are convinced that its effectiveness is uh, uh, based on the fact that we are acting with the legitimate consent of the Syrian government. As a result of uh, the efforts of the Russian Air Force in Syria, uh, well, the, the this operation was a turning point in destroying the resource base of the terrorists. We have destroyed this, uh, thousands of support facilities with stockpiles of ammunition, uh, uh, military equipment, material resources, oil and fuel supplies, and explosives. We have uh, destroyed more than 200 uh, uh, oil uh, production, transit, and refining facilities, as well as more than 2,000 transport means uh, to smuggle oil to Turkey. The last example was the destruction just several days ago. Four sites of illegal production of oil located in the Raqqa and Homs provinces that are co controlled by ISIL fighters. Mr. President. We'd like to underscore that without the consolidation of efforts in combating terror terrorism, the threat will remain significant. The situation in Syria continues to be a source of considerable concerns. What's particularly important is to quickly uh, to quickly uh, uh, separate. Uh, Jabhat al-Nusra from the Syrian opposition. It's essential for those who are combating in Syria to uh, clearly state whether they're with terrorists or, or whether they're against them. Uh, we shouldn't delay this process because by delaying it, we're only strengthening terrorist groups. As a consequence, Jabhat al-Nusra as well as Ahrar al-Sham, Jaysh al-Islam and Jaysh al-Fat have pr practically uh, become uh, uh, connected structures. Some organizations... Uh, in fact, uh, uh, have uh, uh, violated the uh, ceasefire regime. These kinds of threatening developments are uh, occurring uh, due to uh, uh, interference from uh, from outside by forces that are trying to undermine the Russian-American cooperation. As a result, the armed forces of Syria are combating uh, the large-scale uh, uh, offensives of the jihadists who are... Uh, uh, moving through the Syrian-Turkish border, uh, a good uh, illustration is that is what's happening in Aleppo, where terrorists are continuing uh, with external support to grab new territories. The Kurdish neighborhood Sheikh Maksud has been the target of daily uh, artillery uh, shelling by al-Nusra. 
We have found that uh, al-Nusra are being held by other armed groups uh, that are considered moderate. As a result of uh, double standards, al-Nusra uh, thinks that it, that, uh, it can act uh, without any consequences, and it is deploying uh, uh, its forces in civilian uh, neighborhoods and uh, using civilians as shields. Already more, m several weeks we have been uh, uh, told that the link between the terrorists and moderate opposition will be will be. Uh, there won't be a link between them. However, nothing. we're not seeing any results. Uh, meanwhile, the terrorist threat, uh, as the results of the past year have shown, is only increasing and uh, extending beyond the borders of Syria. Mr. President, uh, it's essential to stop the external support for terrorists. Uh, the Syrian-Turkish uh, border needs to be uh, closed immediately. Uh, in addition to what I said earlier, um, often... Uh, uh, Border crossings are being used, which uh, are supposed to be for humanitarian uh, deliveries. Uh, there do doc there's documentary proof of this, and this proof is being disregarded. And this, uh, uh, on this topic, we are also con we, we continue to be surprised by the uh, lack of action from some of our mar partners. We are the role of Turkey is also being disregarded in financial. Uh, uh, and other support for the uh, operations of uh, terrorists in Syria. Uh, the report doesn't mean, mention anything about information regarding the financing of ISIL, which Russia has provided. Of particular attention uh, is, uh, inform is information about uh, supplies from Syrian territory, uh, uh, from Turkish territory, of components for the production of chemical weapons for the needs of terrorists. Unfortunately, that information is dis is disregarded and the russian initiatives of strengthening uh, combat to uh, combat the, the chemical threat are being thwarted another example is uh, the um, uh, the information we have provided on supplies to isil of components to uh, develop uh, uh, improvised explosive devices uh, uh, our analysis has shown that these uh, substances have uh, been were produced in Turkey and were not were not were provided to Syria. Now, we're also uh, very concerned about the unsanctioned uh, um, uh, movements in Syria and Iraq. Uh, there's information that Turkey continue that there the can significant threats uh, near the Turkish border. We would like more information on this, Mr. President. Once again, we consider that in Resolution 2253 that there is a very important list of measures to strengthen the regime to uh, uh, put an end uh, to uh, the illegal supplies for ISIL and uh, groups uh, related to it, and to strengthen the monitoring regime of the UN. Our, as we see it, the goal is to uh, further strengthen this very important decision. Now, an objective, uh, balanced, and impartial report of the Secretary General uh, uh, in, uh, for the implementation of this resolution would be a very important contribution to this task. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Je remercie le représentant. I'd like to, I have to repeat a sentence because it was not uh, uh, mentioned in the uh, translation. I'll just repeat the whole paragraph. Once again, we call on on everyone to uh, pay particular attention to uh, the actions of Turkey and such uh, a very worrisome uh, uh, actions as uh, uh, incursions into the, uh, the territory of uh, Syria and Iraq. It appears that uh, Turkey uh, is also establishing extensive uh, uh, concrete uh, uh, walls on, along its border. We would like more information to be provided to the Security Council. Thank you very much. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation for his statement. I now invite the members of the Security Council to continue our discussion on the subject in informal consultations. The meeting is adjourned.